Welcome back to my grad school life. Previously, I spent some time with my friend Mariah in New York. This month has been tragic, but I've finally been able to get out the house for my birthday. I stopped by the Korean bakery to Le Jour. It's been on my list for a minute, but I'm always dieting, so I never really get the chance to go to bakeries. But I gotta make an exception for my birthday. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm prone to superstition and the occult, but I have noticed that the more sweets that I consume or buy on my birthday, the better that year is. Don't get me wrong. Last year, I lost my job and I was thrown into a whirlwind of chaos but because of that experience I was able to work on my intrusive thoughts go back to school for my master's degree get my first boyfriend and have so many different new experiences I got soft taro cream smushed between sweet bread and strawberry tiramisu I also bought the heart chocolate cake because why not let's see if my superstitions come true I quit my job job was getting in the way of my schoolwork I was looking for a part-time job the max 25 hours a week what was being asked of me was well over 40 hours. That doesn't even take into the account of the amount of time it takes to get there, which is about an hour. And they require you to wear makeup, so that's another hour. Over 60 hours a week that they were asking for me. It, it's insane when you put all the math together. I'm probably gonna edit this down because I don't wanna just put up a video of me complaining, but it was so stressful that I just feel like venting right now. Granted, I have a lot of good things in my life that are blessings and that are absolutely amazing and I'm grateful for. The fact that I'm even able to quit. But I'm gonna keep a positive state of mind. Later in the week, I headed to Chinatown for a school event. The price for parking was crazy though. Every time I go to DC, I feel like I've been robbed. I was here for a project management event. I was late, so I only caught the tail end, but it was fine because I got to hear all of the Q&A. I even got to meet some classmates in person. I also managed to get out the house to go to DC on an adventure. But first things first, I have to stop and get some fuel. When I'm out and I need something to eat, I tend to stick to poke because it's light and tasty. And yes, I eat like a wild animal and I don't care. Now it's time for the adventure, the National Museum of Women in the Arts. This museum is absolutely beautiful. I was specifically excited for Hung Lu. I love her veil images of everyday people. It reminds me of all the small people throughout history who have created the world we live in today. History focuses so much on the leaders, celebrities, but it's important to acknowledge the blue and white collar workers as well. I have to say this art museum is now on my list of favorites. Women and minorities are so often overlooked in various areas and art is no exception so it's great to have representation it's exhausting seeing the same type of genius be acknowledged over and over again i'm perhaps overly optimistic and hoping the world will change because when i look at the world today i can still see how racism and sexism impact everything that's one of the reasons why i vlog you never get to see black people just living normal lives in the media it's like that saying goes be the change you want to see in the world and i know i'm definitely ready for a change. And to keep that momentum going, I went on my first real hike at Sugarloaf Mountain. Ify, if you remember from Dodgeball and the Flower Shop, invited me out from the Water to Wine event. I did not expect the massive amount of people. The first part of the hike was steep. And let me tell you, my feet still hurt. But it was nice to get out in nature and spend time with a great person. A lot of the time, I spend too much time in my head focusing on trying to find a job or school. But life for me is supposed to be about finding joy and fulfillment. I spend way too much time thinking about where I should be but like the Beatles said there's nowhere you can be that isn't where you're meant to be <laughs> It feels like this year I'm more sure of myself than ever. I know who I am and what I want and that's half the battle. Speaking of, sometimes the universe is so synchronicitous because that evening I met up with friends to go see the musical company. A musical about knowing who you are and quieting out all the noise of everyone else. I've noticed the more sure of myself I am, the more peaceful I become. To some extent, I still have bad days like everyone else. Let me out today. Normally, I don't film me just being in my house, like talking to you. I wanted to just try something different because I don't have much footage for this month. Most of my days aren't that exciting. I'm usually like applying for jobs. Last night, I was searching different job boards, you know, trying to switch things up, trying to find like a new routine instead of just going to like the typical glass store, you know, Indeed, LinkedIn. I am a little suspicious of them because I feel like that might be more prone to scamming, but I did just quit my job Saturday and it's just Wednesday. So 
just me trying to get back into the swing of things. Isn't life beautiful? That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at with things.